Well, the farm bill is rejected in the nation's house. Jerome Erslin is denied a new trial. But we start with OU implementing a flat rate tuition for full-time students. Joining me for the play today is Nick Trugakos, the Oklahoman's assistant local editor. Thank you so much for joining me. Sure. All right. Well, OU plans to implement flat rate tuition and mandatory fees for full-time undergraduate students carrying between 12 and 21 credit hours per semester to enable them to graduate sooner. What does this mean for the students? Well, what it means for students uh, and for their parents probably who are going to be paying the tuition bill more than likely um, is that everyone will be charged a tuition rate at the 15 credit hour rate. Uh, whether you take 12 or whether you take 21, you're going to pay that middle ground right there. Wow. Um, this uh, news that we get from OU today comes right on the heels of OSU announcing right. yesterday that they were going to uh, not increase tuition for in-state undergraduate students and OU actually mirrored that too. They okay. also will not increase tuition for in-state undergraduate students. <laughs> and then they uh, obviously offered up this new flat rate idea um, which they will take to their Board of Regents on Monday. It's expected mm -hmm. to be approved. Uh, so we're going to get into uh, our education or higher education reporter Silas Allen is looking at this and the questions we're looking to answer are, you know, what does it mean uh, for the school? Why do they decide to do it? What do they think they can gain from it? And really, what will students gain from it? Yeah, I mean, definitely for the students taking 18 hours, it saves them or actually, I guess, it, 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 yeah, it saves them a little bit of money. But mm -hmm. for the students taking 12 hours, Ugh. That's the, those are the kind of questions we're looking at. So, yeah. but the good thing is then it encourages, hopefully, students to go ahead and, and, and take some more hours then. All right, well, the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals denied former pharmacist Jerome Erslin's complaints about his murder trial, but did order a new trial for one of the two felons accused of planning the drugstore robbery. What details do we know about the appeal? Well, we know that um, for the, the case where they ordered a new trial, it was one of the two defendants who was an adult in the case and had recruited and ordered the two teens to go into the pharmacy to commit the robbery. Um, the defendant had asked to be able to represent himself at trial. The judge had denied that request. Well, now the appeals court has come back and said, no, that should have been granted. Huh. We're going to order a new trial up now. Wow. Now, the news was less uh, encouraging for Jerome Ursulin. They said that they felt his conviction should stand and... He uh, did not get his appeal granted. Wow, interesting. That's an ongoing case. That's an interesting case. All right, well, the House rejected a five-year farm bill Thursday as Democrats rebelled against cuts in the food stamp program, and many Republicans objected to the spending on farm subsidies and nutrition aid. What else do we know about the vote? Well, it, it, it was surprising to some um, how many Republicans opposed the farm bill. Mm -hmm. The uh, One of our Oklahoma uh, congressmen, Frank Lucas, is in charge of the House Agriculture Committee. And so he was really spearheading this effort to get this farm bill passed. Our Washington Bureau reporter, Chris Castile, um, described it as a stinging defeat for Lucas. Uh, I don't think he expected to have as many of his uh, Republican teammates up there you know, vote against the bill. And uh, we're already working on um, now an old farm bill that's been extended several times. And so uh, Chris is gonna be looking at just where do we go from now, you know, where do we go from here now that the bill was defeated today? Okay, all right. Well, these headlines and more will be in Friday's edition of The Oklahoman and on NewsOK.com. Thanks so much for joining us for The Play, where you get tomorrow's headlines today. Thanks so much. Yep.